Yeah, I think there was like a, a little bit of friction or something and I knew to check that no one was watching. It, it's funny how like as a child you can pick up like emotions of embarrassment and frustration and remember it. Great for gameplay, yeah. I was simming well before The Sims came out. Like, I don't even know how I knew that, though. Like, I don't remember ever seeing anyone woohoo, so I don't even know how I knew about that. Like, how it worked. Like, where did I learn this? Human instinct? Maybe. I don't... I don't know. This shelf is so cute. This, where is this shelf from? This is from the kitchen countries. Kit. Maybe from TV and movies. Maybe. Because I definitely never had, like, an experience of seeing anything when I was little. Like, I don't remember that, so I don't know. Kids talk to other kids. Mm, maybe simplicity. You gotta have the friction. <laughs> And then the other thing, I remember, um, I remember at kindergarten, the earliest memory I have is at creche, which is like before kinder, so I must have been two or three years old. I remember playing in a sandpit. That's like my earliest memory. But then I remember at kinder, there were always kids who wanted to play Kiss Chasey, and I was always just hiding. Like, I never kissed anyone. Like, I just hide. And I was like, ew. Or, like, I just felt really un uncomfortable. So, yeah, was not into the kiss chasing. Did, did you guys play, did you, were you guys the kids who actually played kiss chasing and would try and kiss everyone? Because I don't know why I just didn't. I had the Kodak camera you had to put batteries in it instead of charging it before it was a before that it was disposable cameras. Nice. So you guys weren't the kids who kissed the other kids either? You had to run away. I was a lonely kid. I was lonely at kindy, so no one ever played with me. Oh, Oh, that's like, oh, that's so sad. I never kissed, but we did play. You've never heard of this in my life? You never had Kiss Chasey at your kinder? Kiss Chasey, it's where like, someone's it and they have to try and kiss people. And then if they kiss someone, then they're it. Explains my lack of social <laughs> skills. <laughs> yeah, Kiss Chasey was like a thing for like everyone. Like tag Tiggy but with kissing. Ick. You've never heard of it? Is this just a gross Australian thing? I shouldn't say gross. It's actually really cute. Maybe. I don't know. I'm a little bit torn. It kind of seems a little unhygienic. Probably gets all the kids sick. But then again, maybe that's good for their immunity. We played that in Germany. <laughs> it's so interesting how different countries have different, like, things. It's in the USA too. I want to get the Bowser one. Where's Bowser? He's somewhere here. There he is. Uh, thanks, Katie, for the hydrate just then, and also victory for the stress. And the cheers. 
for her check. Thank you so much for the bits. And Pastel Pink wants some squats. Pastel Pink? All right, well, you all do some squats. I have to pay you guys though. And Nikki, thanks for the stretch. And thank you so much, Shay, for the three months. Hello. We used to have this thing where if you'd argue with someone, you'd give them thumbs down to declare enemies. So you were just like, and then you were enemies. Oh my God, that's so funny. It's Baz. He looks just like him. It totally is. I know Charlie meant this, says Bowser. That's hilarious. I remember having a great hiding spot under the slide. You know what's so funny? When you can like see really, really smart kids learning to... Like, it's really funny whether it's... it's well, it's not really funny. It's probably really toxic for some kids. But um, it's really interesting when you can see that there's a child who knows they're smarter than the other kids. And so you can see that they're kind of able to not manipulate the kid in like a really sophisticated way, but they can like, they know that they can lie to them and they'll believe them. See, I was a kid who believed everything kids told them. So, well, not everything, but a lot of things. And I remember one of my friends knew that I was a huge fan of the Care Bears. And she was a bit older, so I think she knew she was like smarter than me. And she used to like pretend to call the Care Bears and she'd have this little box she would open. And she was like, hey, um, the Care Bears are calling. I'm gonna speak to them. And then she'd be like, do you want to speak to them? And I'd be like, yeah. And she goes, oh, they're busy. They can't speak right now. Okay, bye. Like every time I went over, they were always too busy to speak to me. But then I remember the day when I realized she was just pretending because it clicked. And I was like, mm, I get it now. The realization, it just clicked. I remember the moment. We had a thing for marrying our foods. Oh my God, our cookie. You remember someone woohooing? Kid Deli was like, I see how it is. Yeah, I clued on. Look, she was older, so. Of course, it took me a little longer to catch up. Oh my God, that's so mean. Your friend sent you a fake letter from Santa saying you, you weren't getting anything for Christmas that year because you didn't believe in Santa. That is toxic. Man, kids are cruel. Oh, some napkins here from a little digger. Deligacy delicious kitchen kit. And the eggies. These are so cute. Look at their little faces. You use these napkins so much. They're good napkins. What can I say? I'm just putting like random stuff on here. Cause if this is like the rumpus room. There's these um kids that uh my sister's neighbours and they uh like her window looks out and can see a fence line which is their back fence. And um, the kids think it's funny to try and scare her by putting on like Halloween masks and hanging over the fence. 
and the first day that I did it, she was like, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> love jazz. There's nothing that makes me happier than when I go to a coffee shop and I'm just like playing jazz and there's a comfy chair to sit in. Oh, so good. So good. We could put it, we could put the tents in here. Oh my gosh, I ran out of money. That was sad. Oh well, I guess our building stops here. Watch the money. I wasn't, I was not watching that money. Uh, where's the rug from? Do you mean this flooring? This is vampire flooring. Uh, and the rug in here is from, by Charlie Pancakes from the Smold. Alright, so Charity's having a sleep in. So where are we at, Charity? Uh, Prepping the romance from anticipating a romantic holiday. Tomorrow's the day to be romantic. Oh, is today, wait, what? Is tomorrow love day? Oh, wait, wrong thing. Oh my gosh, it is love day tomorrow. Money gone forever, money cheat. No, we don't need to cheat money. I don't cheat, ever. It's a very big lie. Second trimester in 29 minutes. Okay. Okay, so we still have a bit of time. Why are you... That actually does look quite good. Why are you doing? It's like 11.30 at night and you're speaking to the plant. I mean, maybe aging him down has caused some mental decay <laughs> as he gets a bit older, but it's cute. We still love him. No, it's good. He's leveling up his gardening skill. Very smart. Very good. Jelly, rub my belly. Um, guys, just before we go into the game plan, I'm just gonna go for a quick little tinkle. I'll be right back. I'll let you guys um admire our small room and enjoy our little um nursery. N I B R B.
Hey guys. Um, I'm just gonna do the 10 squats for pastel pink, which is good. I need to move a bit. This is how we do it. Oh man, that hits the spot. Two. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Got a girl. We love you. Oh, why are you guys being so nice? We love you, Dally. Oh, oh, why are you guys being so nice? I'm puffed. Oh, that really took it out of me. Why you guys being so nice to me? You deserve it. Why not? Guys, stop it. Well, thank you. I love you guys too. Very much. Why? We need a reason? Well, it's very sweet of you guys. Thank you. Um, I don't know. Should I make a speech? I just want to say thank you for being here today. Shout out to my mom. And, um, I hope you guys have a really nice, uh, rest of your week. Louisa, thank you for the hundred bits. And also for that stretch. And victory, thank you. And thanks for the squats, that was quite nice. It's quite nice. All right, all right, so we've saved, wait, did we save? Let's do this again. We love to see our girls smile. Oh, whoa. This roofing is cooked. Let's never look at that again. <laughs> Instead of fixing it, let's just, just not worry about it. Oh, look at him. Right, I think we need to turn that up and turn this down. Can you guys hear it okay? Oh, we can just turn off the music now that we're game playing. You did the squats, Juju? Good on you. Squats are, squats are a good time. What is this? Is? Obtainium. <gasps> Ooblets. Remember Obsidian? Let's have a little moment together. I feel like these two are just so sweet. Did you miss anything big? Um, well, we Charity is gonna be the baby mama of the next generation. Aww. And I actually really like Charity. Like, I think she's just a really nice match, you know? I think they were meant to be. Um, the rocking chairs, were they a nifty knitting pack? Yeah. These two, so cute. I love how they've aged, you know? They've now greyed out a bit. They've got their, their little bellies. Is it on short lifespan? It is short lifespan. I think it should be. Um. Yeah, sure. But I think because we've been stopping and doing building a lot, because I really enjoy building, um, it might feel a little slower. All right, so it is one in the morning. Oh look, they have their new bathroom to use. That's exciting. I was worried I missed a baby or a death. No, we're just still in pregnancy at the moment. Um, so yeah, all good. And also, um, Casper is at work. It'd be nice for Casper to meet someone. Oh my gosh, promoted to crime lords? Dang. Okay, so his, 
Whoa. He's a crime lord, so he's following in Cassius's footsteps, which is kind of crazy. Um. <laughs> yes, the building is my favorite part. Yay, that's good. Fork, my meeting is starting in five minutes. No, I'll do Quickly, quickly. Oh, looks like he's back right above us again. I hope the tiles are okay. He looks very cool. Crime Lord. So if you got a promotion, what level is he now? He's at level five. Wow. He's doing so well, and like his mood isn't even that bad. Let's get you something to eat and you can go to the toilet. Deli Rage, best emote. <laughs> oh yeah, look how pretty she is. I mean, she's sitting on the toilet right now, but I think she's so beautiful. She's a very beautiful sim. Actually, you guys wanted me to upload her to the gallery. Do you want me to upload her as pregnant with the family right now or like separately after she's had baby hey congrats on your promotion i'm so nervous about these two flirting oh my god she's flirting with him still when she's pregnant with his brother's baby you guys, I didn't do that. Okay, luckily there's no actual flirtation. Like, there's no romance there. But cheese and whiskers, that's dodgy. The tea, this could get messy. I thought this was resolved, you know? Like, I, I thought they had sorted this out. Girl, put some pants on. If there's any sexual, I mean, woohoo tension here, I feel like she needs to put some pants on. Because it's just not going to help the situation. Courtney, thank you so much for the 18 months. Hiya. How are you doing? Thanks so much. Hope you're having a good one. Tea is steaming. I mm, tea. It might be the pregnant hormones. Oh, maybe. Is that an excuse? Woohoo tension, I'm dead. There's woohoo tension, you guys. Now they're having breakfast together at five in the morning because she's probably got like up in the middle of the night because of pregnancy stuff. Oh well, they're behaving now, so that's good. Oh my gosh. Can you put some pants on, please? Oh, do you summon the island elementals? Heck yeah. I've forgotten what they do, but let's do that that away thank you clean that up um so i guess he should go to bed sulani elementals cool what do these guys do again i forget um ask for judgment should we introduce ourselves before asking for judgment Maybe she's invited them here because she'd like them to bless the baby. Oh, this one's having fun. He's like, wee! I mean, he is looking dapper. Yeah, he did look pretty good. Like, bad boy. Bad criminal boy. I love a bad boy. That's why I love James. <gasps> Charity has denied her connection to the islands and her culture. The elementals are not pleased. What? They they don't like who she's picked to have a baby with? Just because we're living away from the islands doesn't mean that, you know, we don't love the islands. She's like, well, I'm pregnant, even if you don't like me anymore. I mean, I'm getting engaged. Oh, see, they are thrilled about it. Okay, so it's all right. Asked to be the sim of honor. Asked to be the ring bearer. 
Let's just ask all of the island elementals to be the wedding guests. <laughs> she hasn't exactly been doing island stuff. True. Um, also... I'm so confused by this aspiration. The athlete aspiration. What was... When did we get this? Was this one of the updates? The athlete aspiration? Uh-huh. Yeah, these are the ghosts from the island living. At least the ring bearer can't die now. Exactly. Oh, and Jax is about to age up. So, wow. He will now be a full-blown adult. Is that a tutorial aspiration? Is it? I don't know. Is she just moved in with that? It's a tutorial aspiration. Right. Right, right, right. Courtney, again, thanks for that resub. That was very sweet of you. And hydrate, thanks. Uh, Cammy? All right, well, let's get Nathaniel up and get him to resume the milk bread. Um, I don't know if this elemental catch up has gone that well. Um, maybe we will just quietly go to bed and, you know, let them do whatever they want to do. Uh, not our problem anymore. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know they could randomly get tutorial aspirations either. Um, cause she was born. Oh, um, maybe with the new like neighborhood progression, it's something that they'll tweak. Abby, thanks so much for the twenty six months party. Thank you so much. Thanks for your support. You go to the toilet. Um, Nathaniel, do you want to get up and make that milk bread, please? Cassius. I feel like Cassius is, I guess because maybe he's older, Nathaniel does a lot more of like the cooking and taking care of him, which is really sweet. Okay, sweet, isn't it? Mm, I think you could do with a shower, mate. Take a good shower. Glad Casper's asleep. Charity's asleep as well. Nathaniel's cooking. What's cooking good looking? Maybe you can make a pot of tea. Um, oh my gosh, Jax has work in an hour. Oh dear. I mean, does he need to have a job? His job is being the heir, is producing babies all right i'll quickly grab a serving of this um why is james messaging me james just messaged me the side eyes like the <laughs> now that Jax is the heir are they gonna stay in the same house um yeah this is just gonna be the legacy house Oh, the gutter man is almost done. Um, okay, he's just letting me know gutter man is done. So no more thumping on the roof, you guys. Hello, little wrong girl. How you going? Love those countertops. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they great? Let's have a little serving of this. Jack's looking good for work today. In a bad mood though. Hasn't had much fun. Oh well. Jesse, Jesse, thank you so much for the 28 months. Appreciate you. Thank you for that. And I guess because Jax, I mean, Casper is focusing mostly on Korea. Um, 
I guess we'll just continue with him leveling up and supporting the family financially. But it would be nice if he could find someone as well, but I'm not sure if you're meant to focus on the non-chosen heir of the family. But we can do whatever we want. Let's socialize. Troll to forums. What a treat to catch a daily stream. Welcome. You just got my motherload hoodie and it's the softest thing ever. Love you, Dilly. Oh, I'm so glad, Jazzy. Which color did you get? Did you get the sage or the black? <laughs> Thanks for the stretch, Sazbean. Oh, I love a cup of tea in the morning. Good one, Cassius. So, Cassius, do you want to encourage... Oh, it's love day! Yes, give family advice. So just because you're not the chosen heir, son, it doesn't mean that you can't get a cup of coffee with someone today for love day. <laughs> Literally such a warm and comfy hoodie. Aw, thanks, Miller. I'm really glad you guys like them. I, um... I did make sure to, I was about to say player test the hoodies, like get samples and make sure everything was good and make sure it was like nice fabric and a good print. <laughs> oh, sentiment games. Nice. You're so fun to be around. That's sweet. So... Oh, they're good friends. Honored wedding party, best friends, provided a happy chat, a happy childhood. Oh, deeply connected. Isn't that nice? Oh. Well, I mean, I guess because they're so close, it, it makes sense that Casper followed in his dad's footsteps with his career. Yeah, the sage color's good. Nice. The color is nice too. Nice. Oh yeah, I love this color. I love this color because it suits everyone. But there's not many left, which is kind of sad. But maybe at some point we'll do a re-release of this. Kuka Kuka, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you very much. You're on Generation 3 as well. I'm like so keen for this baby. I am so keen for the baby. I'm ready for Gen 3. I just want this family to have so many babies. Put that in, in the fridge. Okay. Did you? He's completed that, but we need to still get his mischief skill up. So let's do more mischiefing. I just we should put some pants on when she's around Casper. It's making me really uncomfortable that, and like the woohoo tension. I'm worried about it, you guys. I'm really worried about it. Oh no, house elf. Cotney, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Brooke. Ah, oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you for sharing the love. And have a good run, Mizzy Heather. Okay, just get that skill up, please. Oh, also, Cassius seems to have become the gardener of the family. So let's sell all of these. And I mean, eventually this money we can put into other things like if we randomize an aspiration for a family member to be like opening a vet clinic or something, we'll need money for that. And um, what else do we need to make sure? We need to make sure that we have money to build more bedrooms to go up a level eventually so we can have like eight sims in the house. You need woohoo with the woohoo tension on it? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. First time checking you out. What's up? <laughs> that was so awkward. What's up? <laughs> Why am I so awkward? Hi, welcome to the stream. We are doing the legacy challenge. So we're at generation three. This is our um, legacy home, Hemford on Bagley. And in Hemford on Bagley. And uh, we're waiting for Charity to give birth to the third generation, very exciting. And I think from memory, we may have a possibility of twins on this lot. 
Oh, no, we don't. We took away that. Okay, so it's not likely to be twins. That would be very um, unexpected if it's twins. So it should be just one child. Are you just refusing to troll the forums? Because I really, like, I really just want you to get to that extra skill level. Come on, you can do it. And these two, this is kind of awkward because she's having a baby with Casper's brother. But there is woohoo tension here and sometimes they flirt. I don't even tell them to flirt and it just happens. So, yeah, it's awkward. What happened to the jazz music? Do you guys want jazz music again? Okay, how else can we get the mischief skill up? Oh my gosh. Well, let's do some mischief. The cum partners in crime. Because his dad's a little bit mischievous as well. So maybe he'll find it funny. Oh, oh son. You remind me of myself. <laughs> it's like they split the pajama set. Yay, there we go. Oh, see, she just keeps, you know, trying to get his attention, I swear. Like, she just walks into the room to clean the sink. Why are you even doing that? I don't know, you guys. I'm not so sure about her now. I said how much I liked her, but now I feel like she's... Trying to get the wrong kind of attention. <laughs> hey, Karak, how you doing? Thank you. I'm glad you're able to come to another stream. Hello, Mayor. I know. Aaron! Oh, that's her dad who passed away. If you're into money saving, you can get some great produce at the Spice Festival. Do you want to come and check it out? You know what? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, and that's her mom. That's her little... Her mom? She has a sister? Oh. Charity knows who the true heir was meant to be. That would be really, um... I wonder how often that happens where, like someone's into the sibling of their partner like that would be so horrible like just for everyone if that happens hi give a love day gift here's a bouquet to her father who passed away so this is elena so her mom's an elder wait let's look at her family tree what happened here Oh wow, Elena is her sister. So her mom would have had a baby as an elder, potentially. And is still working at the bar or a head mixologist. Hmm. It's possible that her mom might die before her sister ages up. Oh. My dad and aunt dated before he got with my mother. Really? It happens a lot. Oh. She's the baby Jasminda was pregnant with when the save began. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of music on right now. <laughs> it's just a lot. All right, let's go over to the to the Spice Festival. I think we should pause the music. There we go. Ooh, okay, let's maybe join in. Let's sample some, let's grab some servings together, everyone. So what have we got here? We've got some curry. I'm not really sure what these are, sausages, I guess? Ramen, lumpia, dango, nice, dango. I'm not sure if the bubbles are good for them to blow. What do you guys think? Do you think there's a few health issues with blowing the bubbles? Nice. Let's also give her a tip. 
Ah, oh, isn't this nice family time? And look at the in-laws bonding. Oh dear, they're having a bit of trouble with the spicy food that they're not used to. Yeah, I don't know, sometimes Twitch censoring is a little strange. Alright, Evie, let's say hello to Evie here. Casper has completed new in town of the party aspiration. He finally leveled up. And he wants to throw some parties. Maybe he would like to um share some love day spirit. Uh, and ask about day. It'd be nice for him to meet someone as well. He doesn't have to, but it might be nice. Oh, he's meant to be at work right now? Oh, that's a shame. That's a real shame. Maybe his dad can, like, meet some people to set him up with and set him up on blind dates. Which would be the worst if your parent did that. But it's just because he wants to help him out. Ah, uh, yeah, we have story progression on. I have it on for everything now. Hello. So, I have a son. Oh, I was looking for someone. Are you single? <laughs> uh, I want to do online dating. Um, she's a geek. Cute. That works. And she is single. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so we have one potential setup. Where's the, the other girl he was speaking to? Oh my god, she's evil. Should he date someone who's evil? Um, Courtney, thank you for gifting a sub to Karuk. Ah, oh, thank you so much. That's very, very nice. Thank you. Okay, what about this Greta? He's just gonna start, he's, he's looking for someone for his son, not him. Obviously, he's found his uh, OTP. There's also Kiara here. You think the evil one would be the perfect match for him? Do we really want evil sims in the family? I mean, I guess we already are evil. Ask if single. Uh, ask if single. <laughs> okay, Greta is single and Kiara is single. Excellent. Excellent. Cool. Well, we have. He's gonna invite all these, all these potential matches over. Who's this? Kaori. I feel like we have enough enough potential options okay and how's charity going oh oh charity that's so sad you should get yourself something to eat hun <laughs> now Jax should come to the spice festival should um you know have a little bit of time together Ooh, or attempt the spicy curry challenge it's so weird hearing my name oh Kiara Attempt the spicy curry challenge. I don't know if she should be doing that while pregnant, but she'll be okay. Oh no, he failed. Oh dear. Let's see how charity goes. She probably won't do well because they haven't really eaten much, you know. Spicy food recently. Isn't Greta the daughter of the new family from Tartosa? Oh, she might be. She might be actually, I'm not sure. Uh, sh is she doing a challenge right now? 
She is. Okay, Jax, you need to support. Maybe Nova Baby's due date. Oh, did she do it? Oh no, she failed as well. Oh well. Oh, look at these two. He has to give a love day gift. <gasps> what well, actually? Let's um, let's get him to buy something from the store for her, like a special. Let's buy some swag and then gift it to her for love day. Thanks for the hydrate. Um, no, we have already done some squats today. They're not being ignored. All right, so what do you think she'd like? Gender reveal fireworks. <laughs> Let's see if the fireworks show us what gender it is. Um, and a snow globe, because cute. Okay. Let's do some gender reveal. <laughs> Give romantic gift. Okay. She gets two gifts. She's going into labor eating spicy food. Can I put you into labor? Aw, oh, thank you, a sparkler for me. Gender reveal. Let's see. Play some world and light. Oh, and he gave her a rose too. He's like so over head over heels for her. He always has been. I love the joy that you bring to my life. Every waking moment of every day. Aww, that's what she gave him. Okay, gender reveal, then you can go to the toilet. Let's see. If it's blue, it's boy. If it's pink, it's girl. It's green. What does that mean for gender reveal? It's green. I didn't know then. Okay, she can go to the toilet now. <laughs> it's an alien? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's an alien. I don't know. Thanks for the stretch, Kayla. Oh. A witch or an alien? Twins. What did she give us? Because she gave us a rose. I think that was the gift, just a rose, which is very sweet. Alright, well, I think they had fun at the spicy festival. There's so many potential matches here, like Eden and Rosemary. Oh my gosh! What happened to you, Cassius? Uh. I don't understand what happened to him. Oh, he got like shot by a firework? Good lord. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think everyone's had a great time, so let's go home. <laughs> it's non binary. Well, that's good. I'm just gonna do my 10 squats. 10, 9, 8. One. Thanks, Bethy. Poor Cassius. He was standing right next to the gender reveal. Oh, was he? I didn't even realize. Whoops. Well, they all had a big night, didn't they? Alright, everyone off to bed. Off you go. Oh dear, Cassius really is in poor form. Sorry. I thought they were all having a great old time. I'll just have a quick, oh, that was very quick shower. Okay, hopefully he can have a quick shower and then hop into bed. Come on, quick shower, quick shower. Oh, he wants to go to the other shower. Come on, quick shower. You had soup for lunch, but you're still hungry. What to do? Um, why don't you have some toast? I feel like soup's sometimes not that feeling, depending on what you have in it, like minestrone is. I 
really want this baby. Alright, you go to sleep properly. Ah, all in bed at like six in the morning. Big night, big spicy night. <gasps> Third trimester! She's gonna burst in any second, you guys. So excited. Let's get her in the best possible mood for a positive birthing moment <laughs> so she can be as comfortable as possible. Bethy, you say my names are cute. <laughs> Oh, and it's Jax's birthday today. No way. He's going to have the same birthday as his kid, potentially. No, no, no. Girl, go to bed properly. If you're going to go to sleep, do it properly, all right? Oh, Nathaniel looking after the house. Probably cleaning up the toilet that um, Casper probably broke. We're going to replace that. We got money. Oh, he's upset. He's just feeling a bit gloomy. He's a bit of a gloomy one, Nathaniel is. I haven't watched the new Bridgerton yet. Is it good? No spoilers. I haven't watched it yet. Um, Flab, yeah, you can come hang out. Not a, not a problem. It's good. Yes, I really, I did enjoy the first season. And I was amazed because so many of you guys were like, you need to watch it. I think you'd really like it. And I did actually really like it. Okay, Casper, have a shower. We just want everyone feeling good. Guys, I have this feeling this shelf isn't going to come today. That's going to be really disappointing. Like, I don't... Sometimes... I have a habit of expecting the worst in order to protect myself from being disappointed. I do this all the time. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice detesting. I hope you feel better soon. In a way, it's good if it doesn't go, because then you can go off on them. Blast them. I don't want to go off on them. I want it to just work out. Oh, come on. need to bake a cake and actually I might get Nathaniel to just take a day actually you know what why don't we retire how old is he wait what Nathaniel's a young adult still oh my gosh because he's a vampire let loose I don't want to let loose I don't want to get angry at people. Um, that's so weird. So Nathaniel is a young adult, so his sons will be older than him because he was a vampire and didn't age for so long. How crazy. Use up the vacate days and then retire. He can like video gaming. Oh my God, what happens if his son like dies before him? Fridge is broken, broken. Yeah. Let's get a repair service. Um. Yeah. Well, I guess he won't retire. Let's take a vacay, a vacay day. Wait, were we already taking a vacay day? Oh, yeah. Sorry. It was... It's okay, he was just um, calling a repair service. For a second I thought I accidentally got him to retire. Age him up, I mean we could. Should we age him up as well? Just so they're not like, otherwise it is a bit strange, isn't it? Oh, look at these two. Happy birthday. Express doubts about marriage. I'm doubting my marriage because I see you and my baby mama fiance flirting all the time. And she doesn't wear pants around you. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, she's got to fix that. I was going to say, we should just get her to bake a cake, but we'll have to wait a little bit. Oh, she is about to bust this one. Deli, the fridge is broken. I know. Don't worry, it's fixed now. Thanks to this lass. All right, well, let's cook a beautiful birthday cake. We're going to make a beautiful matcha tea cake. Yum, 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 yum. And then we should age them both up, right? Hey, hey, what is going on here? What is this? What is this? Is? Which one's the matcha cake? Zoom almond macarons. I mean, that does sound nice, but we can't put candles on that. Ah, resume match a tea cake. Everything looks fixed up and in ship shape. Good, thank you for that. Love the repair service. You know, I know he's a vampire, but I think it would be good. Um, him to age up. I think so too. I think it makes sense. Otherwise, it's just sad if his kids like go to pass away before him. Okay. So, should we have a little bit of a birthday party? I mean, how's everyone feeling? Nathaniel's. What? I put candles on that! What? Stop! Oh my god okay fine no birthday we're just gonna uh oh my god oh okay Jax where are you wait not Casper Jax you're gonna age up now <laughs> I don't know how this is working but you age up yay Okay, so then you don't have like a sad, you forgot my birthday moment. And then now we're gonna, now we're gonna have to um, bake another cake for you. He can make his own cake. Cause it's, he's like, I wanna age up and I'm gonna do it. So I am gonna be older than my kids. <laughs> Man, what cake should you have? You can have a winter cake. I can't believe they did that to me. That was so rude. Like, seriously. But how good does the matcha cake look? We should do more vlogs of Sims cooking. GXXA, thank you so much for subscribing. Now, do not... <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Okay, you can blow out the candles and age up. Oh, beautiful winter cake. Yay! Ah, I love how he rubs his palm. I'm gonna do that when I age up this year. Oh, simplicity, that's so cute. You didn't think you could age up until you blew out the candles. Mm. So now he's an adult. Oh, but then, Wait, he's, no, he needs to blow out more candles. No, he's, he needs to be an elder. Oh God, we need to make another cake. <laughs> so many cakes. Can we make a cheesecake? Who would rather a cheesecake over a birthday cake? Raise your hand in the chat. Okay, let's see. We okay, that's all right. That's cooking. All right, one more blowout of candles. Oh my god, a kid stole your birthday cake. That's so rude. Yay! Okay, now this so this house is chaos. Um, <laughs> we really need to clean. Maybe we should get a maid, or better yet, maybe we should get a butler. Okay. Okay. So Nathaniel 
Blow out the candles so you can be an elder. Because he wants to be a grandpa. Aww. Yeah, maybe she's just really hormonal. Yeah! Oh, he's out there! Yay! Aww. Oh, he looks so kind as an elder. I love him as an elder. He looks so good. Oh my god, Cassius. Wow. Wow. Okay, and that means he can retire. Oh! Oh yeah, he can retire. Yay! That's nice. Okay, we'll harvest all days and water them all. Uh, Lovin, thank you so much for the 32 months. That is, that's so long. Thank you very much for that support. I hope you're having a good week. Thank you so much. Um, and I hope you're enjoying the legacy challenge as well. Whoa. Well, oh, oh, oh my God. They all aged up on the same day. Charity's going into labor. Oh, uh, this is broken. Okay, before, just real quick, before she gives birth, let's get her to, um, let's get someone to come and clean. I mean, come and repair, not clean. There is so much cake around here. It's too much for me. We gotta clean the house for her to have a baby. We can't have a baby in a messy house. Labor, woo! I love the glue on glue yay, baby. Uh. Oh, she's gonna girl. What happens if you electrocute yourself? I I didn't I didn't I say to hire someone, not you do it. Imagine if she electrocuted herself. That'd be so bad. But the game doesn't do that, so it's okay, you guys. Alright, it's baby time. Everyone, let's Everyone in into the room. Everyone in here. Let's all cheer her on. Like 50 people in the labor room. Let's go. Let oh um Jax. Can, what are you doing? Get inside, man. Yay! She just had a baby boy. When are we gonna have some girls in this family? <laughs> She misunderstood what kind of labor she needs to do, yeah. Uh, it's a boy. What should we name him? Also, we need to change his last name. It, weren't we doing Montagu? Was it Montagu? Any name idea? You guys think she's having twins? I don't think she's having twins. I think it's just the one. Um, Sebastian. I was going to be called Sebastian if I was a boy. Alec. Sullivan. <gasps> I love the name Sullivan. Sullivan Montague. I love it. Sully for short. Sullivan. I like it. Sullivan Montague. Geary. Was that a vampire symbol? Why is there a vampire symbol? Why was there a vampire symbol? That better be Vlad outside just skilling up or a vampire out there. Sully. Yeah. Select a branch for Casper. Wow, really? He's really trying to take away the attention from the pregnancy, isn't he? <laughs> Um, boss or oracle? Uh, so a boss, the streets of your playground. Or oracle? Uh, I mean, I feel like he should be an oracle, not a boss. Because an oracle is a bit more ethical. Sully the vampire. The green firework stands for vampire. It better not be a vampire. We Brett, we took away the vampire gene. I will be so annoyed if this is a vampire baby. Simba. 
Sally. Oh, oh look, you guys. Let out. <laughs> Let out. Oh, he's holding the third generation. That's really beautiful. And he's like, why is it a vampire? I thought I was the last vampire. Does that have red eyes? Are you a vampire? <laughs> um, it will show the vampire symbol on every baby from now on that happened in my legacy after I cured them of vampirism. Oh, okay, so it doesn't mean they're a vampire though. Um, also the baby in the, in the DP has a deeper skin tone than the baby IRL. Okay, that's kind of interesting as well, a bit glitchy. Well, well done, mama bear. Well done. Well done. Aww. So cute. We have a baby. Can we age up the baby to a toddler yet? Or do you have to leave them as babies? I feel like we should be able to age them up, right? My babies always glitch the icon skin tones. Oh, really? I feel like we should age them up. I'm gonna do it. They're only babies for one day on short lifespan anyway. Oh, well, I mean, it doesn't really, uh, okay. Let's leave him as a baby, because then, otherwise, there was no, because then we have to get rid of the crib, which is kind of sad. Oh, it's been a big day for Grandpa Nathaniel. It's been a big day for everyone. Okay, okay. Should we have another baby, like, just in case the air... Something happens to the air, like a backup baby. Do we need a backup baby? <laughs> it's only one day. She just had him. Deli, what are you doing? An air and despair? Yeah, do we need an air and air and despair? I like sound like snow. <gasps> and it's summer, yay! That's beautiful. Are my plants gonna glitch again? Actually, you know what? We should quickly pick these just in case they all like glitch out again. Oh, and I also want to quickly get a butler. Who's in a good enough mood to, to get a butler? Which means we're also gonna need to have a bed for a butler. <laughs> I love seeing that money go up. Hire a service. Um, butler. Yay! I love butlers. Listen to pop music on the on the radio when she's pregnant, and it'll definitely be a girl baby. Alright, where's butler's house gonna go? Hmm. I love the ka -ching sound. Same. It's so good. It's like ka-ching. Ka-ching. Backup baby. Maybe it's a girl. I want a backup baby. All right, where should Butler be? Hmm. I mean, we do have 20,000 smolians. Does he have, like, his own Butler cottage? Or does he... Or is he part of a family and, like, live upstairs? It's a tough call. Butler cottage? Basement. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Love the idea of a cottage. Let's do a little, a little butler cottage. I mean, look, let's be honest. We have the cash to splash. We have the money to do it, you guys. So let's just, let's start. Making a butler cottage today. You make 
thing of a love body. Sweet day, it's gonna be cute. Butler Cottage is gonna be cute. Maybe we should do like a hexagonal cottage. Like a Wendy. A, a little Wendy house for the butler. Because he takes care of the family, you get it? Like he's like a Wendy. But then he won't have a toilet. Okay, maybe we don't do that. Do you like my own butler cottage? Do you like it or not? <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. Like they should have a fun little something like this. Do you like my butler cottage or not? Yeah. Do you like my butler? Cottage, do you like it? Do, 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 do. I am making a little butler cottage. <laughs> What's going on with this legacy challenge? Uh, right now we're building a butler cottage. And I think I've lost the plot a little bit. So that's what's happening right now. Oh my god, did I make it out of like little half walls? What the heck? The whole lot will look so cute with the little cottage. Yeah. And I like doing a cottage that's a, a bit of a different shape too. It's nice, it's unusual, you know? It's different, it's unusual. A girl just wants to build a mini cottage? Aren't cottages any size? I mean, yeah, I guess it is a mini cottage. You can have like a little cottage door. Aww. So sweet. Does he get his own mail at his little cottage? Oh. Ooh. I mean, I thought that was quite cute. Oh, that's nice. Um, we're just doing like a speedy legacy challenge, so. It's a quick one, it's a good one, and we've just got to get to 10 generations and we're randomizing everything. So their traits, their aspirations, their appearance, everything is randomized. The game is kind of picking our future. We could do white windows on this cottage, so it's like a little bit different to the main house, you know? You're making me want to build now. Yes. I like being a building influence. Or we could do like, yeah, we should do these cottage windows. These cottage windows are so sweet. Uh, or actually the bigger ones. I was keeping an eye on the time because just in case our shelf comes. 
Guys, I think I'm gonna be annoyed if it doesn't come. These are understandable. You've just spent the entire day renovating a vet like clinic. Nice. There's not much else that is better than, you know, spending the day doing some healthy Sims renovations. I mean, it's just great. Yeah, I'm talking about the shelf. Aww, it's so cute. I didn't really plan the roofing on this. Hmm. The roofing may be a little scuffed, you guys. Just a warning. Any track for delivery? Well, that's the thing. They didn't give me any tracking or they didn't touch base with me. I just was told last week the time. Oh my god, I think the delivery is here. Maybe. Or it's... Or it's, um... Got a man leaving. I think it's got a man leaving. This roofing is honestly an absolute hot mess. <laughs> the shape is cute, it is, but it's like difficult to make it work. We may have to just kind of do this type it's the back that's um, difficult. Maybe we have to square off the back of it actually. Do something like this. You can do a deli, thanks. I know, look. It's not perfect. But sometimes in life, things aren't perfect. And that's the beauty of it. Ah, here we go. And you guys said that it might be impossible. Actually, I don't think anyone said that. For anyone who thought it may not be possible. It may be impossible possible. Okay, I feel like this needs to be a different color. I miss auto roofing. 